Hello and welcome back to Better Minecraft Hardcore. If you're wondering why I'm low on health and in the middle of the nether, I have been farming blazes for a little while now. And we now have two... Excuse you. We now have two blaze heads and we have this, the cleaver, completely full of blazing blood. There is just one final... Well, two apparently. This guy that I want to get out of here. There we go. All right. I think that is enough blaze hunting for one day. Two blaze heads, full cleaver, and almost a stack of blazing rods. Blazing rod. Oh, wow. Blaze rods. Also, we got this villager right here, which sells interesting things. Yeah. Hi. Anyway, we're gonna head back home. I think I'm done here for now, though we might come back later. And it is night time. Not the greatest. So I can put the blaze heads in there. I can go ahead and right click the blade there and look at that. Almost a full tank. And that is 200 more. Boom. Sweet. This now has 3,000, so about three buckets worth of blazing blood. Yeah, it's uh. Oh, wow, they're sleeping. Oh, it's you. Yeah, please don't. That scared me. Now, what I want to do in this episode, if we take a look at my armor, it's not the greatest. I only have blast protection on here. It's not even protection, so I don't get the... Yeah, I don't get extra protection for, from anything else other than blasts. My diamond helmet is about breaking, and I am still walking around in iron boots. Not ideal whatsoever. So I want to upgrade a few things, and I want to look at some potential new armor that we can make. But... Very, very first, if I head into my backpack here, I want to apply a few upgrades to my sword and also to my pickaxe. I feel like my pickaxe is a little bit slow, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and equip a skull to skull, which is going to increase the upgrades, and then I'm going to apply so uh, redstone so we get hastier, and that is going to increase the mining speed from 14 to 19, and I think that will really be able to... Yeah, that's going to be good. And then my sword here, the attack damage is 10.5. If I go ahead and add another upgrade slot using this music disc, and then go ahead and apply 36 leather quartz, I'm going to get sharpest, and uh, the attack damage goes up to 11.5, which I don't mind at all. I love it. The next things I want to do is I want to apply luck slash looting to my pickaxe and my sword right here. And I want to get it all the way to level two if possible. So the pickaxe right here, I'm going to put that in there and we're gonna take this cornflower to copper like so. And that is going to use one ability slot, which I'm fine with. And that is going to give us luck. And then if I put this back in, I can go ahead and give it a golden carrot and two and a pearls or two uh, gold ingots here and we're gonna get luckier. And that is really going to be cool if we stumble upon diamond ores or any ores that's going to drop their actual items instead of their ore variant. Now I would also like to do this on my sword because, yeah, y you can't really go wrong with it. I might regret this, but <laughs> I have already done it. So no going back. There we go. Nice. So with that out of the way, that's the looting modifier done. We will be doing some mining today because I want to see what else we can find. Maybe we can find some more diamonds, stuff like that that can help us out. But I also want to go back to the nether to get netherite ingots because if you recall, I think, can I? Okay, I can't show it here. But if you recall in the nether, we have found multiple of those piglin, small piglin huts and the loot in them are, well, they're good, but before I'm comfortable looting those and in general venturing very far from my home, I need better armor. So that is what we'll be dealing with next. We of course have the blazing blood now, so we will be able to make diamond or crystal, yeah, diamond stuff, which is going to be really, really awesome. But that's stuff we will, what we will be dealing with today, I don't think. So there's this mod called Orc. Organics, and apparently there's quite a lot of armor here, like redstone armor, um, which looks kind of cool. We also got, I don't even know what that is. And you might ingot, I don't, I don't, yeah, no, nope, I don't know what that is. We have like emerald armor, we have enderite armor, we have indium. We have a bunch of different uh, varieties of armor here, even quartz armor. But I want either what is equivalent to diamond armor or even better. So this is three armor and two armor toughness. 
The blazed helmet, for example, has four armor and two toughness. And when you have the full set, you have fire resistance and fly if sneak. And you need to make it with this blaze with these blaze ingots, which you make from a uh, get from blaze block, which you get from uh, uh, yes, yes, I think yes, M maybe. Uh, now I'm confused. But anyway, we can make some quite interesting sets of armor here. We could even make cobblestone armor if we wanted to. But yeah, we have we have the blazed helmet as a possibility. We have the emerald helmet. Um, I'm pretty sure I could go ahead and do helmet and then space, and then we get all the helmets from the organics mod. Uh, blazed nether helmet. So that's an upgraded version of the blazed helmet. Blue obsidian. Does it look like there's any more armor than that? Yeah, so it looks like, I don't know what this ven 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 Venomite is, but uh, yeah, maybe we'll stumble upon, it, upon that at some point. Looks like it's an ore only from the nether, so that's interesting. Water breathing helmet, that's cool. All right, so these are kind of our options, but I have also found this upgraded, this upgraded netherite, and it has some quite interesting features, and it's not, like it's super expensive to make. Also, there's this. So we have netherite helmet, and then we can apply an upgraded netherite ingot to it to get some effects. So, for example, this one has fire damage immunity and increased movement speed in lava. That is the blazerite helmet. And then we got the featherite helmet, which is kind of cool. Set bonus is water and lava walking, double jump and fall damage reduction. And to make this, you just need a netherite ingot and feathers. So that's another possibility. We could get full netherite armor and then we could get one of these sets that we like. Now, I've already looked through all of these and all of them, they're really cool. But the two that I'm finding most interesting and useful is going to be this feather, featherite helmet, fall damage reduction, double jump and water and lava walking, or this one, which is fire damage immunity and increased movement speed in lava. So we have a few options here. Now to make the blazed helmet, we need blazed ingots. And to get that, we need a blaze rod block, which we can just make just like that. So one blaze rod block should turn into, if I'm not mistaken, one ingot. So for a full set of armor, yeah, I need, I need more apparently. <laughs> I might need to go, uh, Blaze, blaze hunting again, but I'm fairly certain that if I go ahead and cook this up, we should be able to get a blazed ingot. Yes, perfect. So what we can also do is potentially have armor for different types of scenarios. So I can have this blazed armor, for example, down by the blazes, one that I only equip when I either go to the nether or to other fiery places. I can have it like in my backpack. I'm gonna go ahead and make an armor stand because armor stands are cool. Oh, and you get, oh, no wait. Now we just gotta wait for this to smelt, which is gonna apparently take a while. We can of course also have the emerald helmet, which when we have the full set, we have the hero of the villager effect, but I think I'm going to save my emeralds because I don't have that many. So there we go, I now have five. So I can go ahead and use those to make a blazed helmet. Nice. Okay, I'm going to save these because I want to make a chest plate first, I think. So I want to make the full set of this, and then once we have that, I think I will be comfortable to explore the nether a little bit and see if we can potentially find more netherite ingots from those piglin huts. Yeah, I'm gonna call them piglin huts. Also, if we ever want to get to the stronghold and get to the end dimension so we can progress a little bit more and things like that, yeah, I, I will be needing this upgraded armor here. So there we go. Blazed chest plate. Oh wow. That's actually, that's looking cool. I of course don't have unbreaking or anything like that on this, but it's actually exactly the same as to the diamond. That's cool. Yeah, something I want to do in the very near future as well is going to be to set up an enchantment area because I am lacking that. And that is then all the blazed ingots that we have. So I need 13 more blocks. So I need quite a few more blaze rods. Good thing that we now have luck here on our sword. That's a, that's a, mm, that's a tough zombie. <laughs> he has a lot of health if, if he isn't dead from the fire yet. Yikes. Finally, I've just discovered I can disable my magnet by, by holding shift. Interesting. I wonder how far away I have to be before items stop getting teleported to me. 
Uh, let's see, maybe a chunk or so. Yes, 16 blocks ish. I also need to set up potion brewing because that's gonna be vital as well for my survival. I have a brewing stand, but I don't really have potion brewing stuff. I don't think. I don't think I get. I didn't. I don't think I got any. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my actual sword here because what I need are race rods. So far, so good. Oh, I'm low on food. I didn't think of this. 13 blocks, 13 by 9. I've calculated I need around a stack and a half. However, this food shortage is not good. Time for another harvest. I am actually looking in the very near future to be able to automatically farm my wheat and things like that using the mod create. So we might very soon be diving into that mod as well. So far, it has all been about building up our base and getting getting our starter stuff equipped. But now that we're prepared a little bit more, uh, I feel like we need to explore the different mods that this uh, this that this mod pack has, and also to explore the world a little bit more. Because so far, all I've been doing is um, hiding. All right, a stack of bread should be good. So yeah, if you were wondering, we will be looking at the different mods that this pack has to offer, and we will go out exploring and doing things like that very soon. But we are in hardcore, so we do need to be cautious. I hate those. All right, head through here, and now we just gotta wait. I'll be right back when I have over a stack of blaze rods. So we have a mutant blaze in there, so what I'm gonna do is... It's not about to explode, I don't think. We are good. So I'm just gonna... Head over here and head away from this place. Let it despawn. And I hope that things are gonna be alright. If it was taking damage, I would have gone in and hit the kill switch. Which would have picked up the spawner and moved it. But I don't think anything should explode. So I do believe that we are good. I'm just gonna head all the way over here and chill for a little bit. Letting things despawn. I don't think we even explored this part of the fortress we were just so focused on getting the um getting the blaze rods last time we were here so i think i'm gonna go ahead and get these nether warts in fact i'll grab all of this and we can set up some nether wart farming back home i also got one of these shattered blaze pieces from killing one of the not the mutant blaze but the bigger blazes and can apparently put that to the shield i don't know what that does but yeah, I still do need to explore this fortress. Ooh. Yeah, re what's this? Schematic and enchanted roll that makes it possible to hone the magic capability of a mod. Okay. Right. Iron backpack. Is our backpack iron? We got a gold backpack. Aha. Well, we got a spare, I guess. Okay, things should have despawned by at home by now. Yep, things seem secure. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure I would have seen stuff on the minimap. Yes, it's secure. All right, this has worked out really, really well. I really like the setup that we have going on. All right, according to my calculation, 13 blocks of blaze rods should do the trick. So it is now time to head back home. And it is night time again. However, it is sunrise, so it is morning. That I went through a lot of times there in that one sentence. I also got a bunch of different stuff from that fortress. I did go back down just to check it out a little bit more because it has a mutant blaze spawn. But yeah, it's interesting. There we go. 13 blaze rod blocks. We can go ahead and set those to smelt. In the meantime, I'm going to set up a little bit of a spot for some... Uh, Yeah, right, you know what? Right here is fine. Doesn't have to be big. Yep, I think this works perfectly. I guess I could make this corner into a little bit of a brewing area now that I have a few brewing ingredients. And I do have some oak drawers here, which would be ideal. So if I do a little bit of transforming over here, I'm gonna have some half drawers. Ooh. All right, well, if I place this here, place a brewing stand right there. Place a slab there. And place some oak drawers. Maybe something like this will work. I think it will. Yeah. You know what? I don't think that's half bad. And I, in fact, do have some glass bottles here and spore bottles. Again, I don't know if I ever want to use these, but 
then they could go into here. And I should probably, in addition to this, go ahead and make an infinite water thingy thing. Water, water, and then we can fill it up like so. And fill up the glass bottles like so. Not bad. And I can go ahead and make some aqua potions. Sweet. And that is all the blazed ingots that we require. So a pair of leggings and I even somehow, how did I? Oh, yep, I, I did I did count wrong. It, it's fine. <laughs> so we now have a full set of blazed armor. We got a lot more, it seems anyway, a lot more armor bars down here. So we should have, yep, casted fire resistance. Looks like we even get strength. Oh wow, we do. And I should have fly if I hold down sneak. Oh wow. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> now of course, fell damage will still be a thing I would assume. And I think flying possibly makes you burn some durability maybe? Let me fly up a bit. Hmm. I'm not sure what caused that uh, durability to go down, but it really actually does not have a whole lot of durability. So I do think that we should only use this for when dealing with blazes, this armor set here, at least until I can get unbreaking and whatnot on it. But it does mean that we can do things like that. That's really, really cool. So this armor set will be dedicated for dealing with blazes and until I can get something else going here. So for now, this old set can be put here. Might use it again later. However, what I do want to do now is craft a sledgehammer from Tinker's Construct. And the reason why I want to do this is even though we have Vein Miner, which is really cool, I don't want to, first of all, waste my pickaxe durability on just making a 3x3 tunnel in one direction. And also, if we do go down, to the caves here if i go ahead and equip hmm, this is an issue <laughs> uh small square small tunnel so if i hold down the vein miner key right here normally it would take a three by three area but because it sees this is a different block than this and then the tunnel gets a little bit well as you can see there not that great it goes fine with stone and deep slate but as soon as yeah as you can see that's not too good a hammer, however, does not have that issue, so I do want to make one. However, they're a bit expensive. We need a hammerhead, tough handle, large plate, and large plate. So we need a tough handle. We also need two plates, and then, of course, we do need a hammerhead. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to spend ages on this because, because I do have other things that I want to do in this episode. So we will just really quickly make one. I think I'm going to go with a Cincinnati tough tool handle. There we go. We now have a hammerhead gold cast. And apparently we are out of fuel. I'm wondering if I can go ahead and... Also we are out of fuel, so I'm going to go ahead and place this and we're just going to use some blazing blood to, well, melt these diamonds because I'm going to make this a diamond head for a change. So we got molten diamonds and molten rose gold. I'm not sure how expensive these large plates are. I'm gonna hope four rose gold is going to be enough. It appears it was. So yeah, I'm gonna use one rose gold plate. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pick diamond. And we're gonna get a diamond hammer head. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that just, that used to, oh, ooh. ooh. Ugh. <laughs> that used a lot more diamonds than... Ugh. Oh, pattern cost eight. Oh. Well, that would explain it. But look at that. Oh, come on, how many? I would not have used diamonds if I knew it was this expensive. I don't even think I have enough diamonds for this, baby. I put in five and it only filled it up half. I don't think... Oh, it says it here. One blocks, four gems, and eight... Uh, I think I have enough, but... That's quite literally going to be all my diamonds, and I don't think that's enough either. Uh, that sucks. Please be enough. Nope. Oh, wait. That's really annoying. <laughs> I just spent 13 diamonds on that, and I still don't have enough. Ay ay ay. that's... Hmm. That's really annoying. Well, I guess... I guess I just... Yeah, see, this is why I wanted to have... Well, um... I guess I'll just have to make do, I guess. Uh, yeah, now I need to find diamonds for this. That was not my plan. I do know if I pick up that um, that cast with the diamonds in it, that then the diamonds will go ahead and disappear. So that is most definitely not something that I want to do. And I don't know how I can... Ooh, 
Okay, well now, okay, hold on. <laughs> I don't know how I would be able to pick it back up. Okay, we have luck here on this thing, so hopefully we should get a few here. Seven, okay, I think that should be enough. I think that should be enough to finish this. I think that has done it. It is definitely changing color. I got one knocket left of both emerald and diamond, and there we go. <sighs> that was a pain. Anyways, we're gonna get some sinsonite over here for the tool rod, and I think I'm going to make an iron sinsonite tool rod, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and make an iron plate for the last thing here. There we go, that is all the smelting done, and I will go ahead and put this empty tank in, and put that in there. Boom. That should be everything we need for a hammer. So if we go ahead and plop, 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 so what do we have? 4,457 durability, not bad at all. We got mining speed of 3.2 and upgrades 3, etc, etc. All right, we're gonna take this and then we're immediately going to give it some upgrades. So one, we're gonna emerald it up, which is going to give it even more uh, durability here. I will want to increase the mining speed by a lot. So I'm going to apply haste and I'm going to actually apply hasty err again which now this thing is out of upgrades, but I can go ahead and use a skull and I can get hastiest to really get the mining speed of this thing up. And I could go ahead and use yet another, no, and go ahead and use this music disc to get yet another upgrade. And I should be able to add a diamond to this. No, the diamond is how I repair it. Okay, so this thing is, I believe, as you can see, it has a three by three area of effect. So I think we now should be able to use this. So if I want to mine down this way, oh yeah, look at that. So if I equip this and it just mines everything in its path. Now the only negative thing is that it does mine, like I said, everything in its path. The only downside for this is because I want it to be silky, I think. And silky modifier is silky cloth, which is rose gold and a bunch of string, which does require one ability, but I would much rather use my pickaxe for things like diamonds and redstone than using this. So, looks like I need to get myself some... Well, I already have do have some rose gold. Question is, do I have enough string for this? Yes, I do. I just need five. So I just need a little bit more rose gold which means I need a little bit more lava. So I'm gonna get that from the nether. So if I just right click this, empty it up, and okay, that goes all the way up there. I just need some lava that is easily accessible. Guess down here is as good as any. Grab that, yep. And I'm going to actually take some more. Perfect. And I can fly up, Whee! There we go, fuel it up, nice. Four ingots of rose gold, which is, that's perfect, three. Beautiful silk and I can go ahead and surround this thing and there we go. It is now silky. So now what I think I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to go ahead and mine for 30, 30 minutes sound good. Yeah, 30 minutes sounds good. Uh, 30 minutes sound good, I think. I'm going to go ahead, pick up a bunch of this stuff and we're going to see what we get after mining down here for 30 minutes. I'm just going to branch down in somewhat equal ways down here and um, yeah. Oh, it's fast too and things are gonna be good. Yeah, so I'll see you in 30 minutes. Mining time done, not quite 30 minutes because my pickaxe unfortunately is now in a broken state. 
Which means, yeah, I can't really use it. So I gotta go up and repair it. But my inventory is pretty full either way. So I think now is a pretty good time to call it there. We have a bunch of different blocks now. So now I gotta go through and organize the different things. But first things first, I gotta repair this thing. And unfortunately, that's gonna have to be with dragon bones. Yep, that is painful. Because dragon's bones are definitely not something we have a lot of. But there we go, repaired. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I'm going to fortune up these ores. And we'll see the grand result. Alright, so this is our final result. And honestly, that's actually not half bad. Didn't get as many diamonds as I was hoping for. But yeah, we got a bunch of lapis and iron and copper and redstone and everything like that. We're in a pretty good position. Now comes the fun part of smelting all these different things. And in fact, I have another issue now where, yeah, I don't have enough space for all the redstone. Oh, okay. Never mind. This works. So I would say this mining trip has been pretty successful. So what I think I'm going to go ahead and do now, we actually have a lot of things in here. I'll probably clean that up off camera. I'm going to go ahead and put my hammer away. Clean up the final bits, of course. And then with my brand new armor, I think I'm going to go ahead and go to the nether. First of all, get rid of this guy. So now with this brand new armor and strength as well, I think we should go ahead and loot some of these piglin areas here. I think we can, I think we can deal with it. I just really quickly want to see how much netherite we would be able to get just from looting these. Now I figured out that the way to deal with these is actually to go up top here. Right here, we already looted this in, I believe, the last episode. And if I go here... Now these are piglin brutes, so we do need to be careful. If I go ahead and then break that spawner, we should be good. I just gotta get rid of this, this one guy here. The minus about this armor is that if I hold down shift, I will fly. So I gotta figure out how I can do this in a safely fashion. I do think that is all of them though. Oh wow, that's an empty chest, okay. I do want my exit clear though, just in case. Okay, at the very least I'll go ahead and loot this gold. Ooh, yes, and yes, okay. So that is actually, I would say, definitely worth it. So that was just one, but I know there is another one over towards the fortress. So let's go ahead and loot that and see what we get from that. I think we got two netherite ingots from this one in the last episode. Or when we last time looted this, this thing. So I definitely want to give this a shot. And now with our brand new armor, I feel a little bit more protected. The only thing that we need to sort out now is enchanting which I think I'll focus on in the next episode. All right, so unfortunately, because this thing is already hovering, I'm gonna, oh, not you guys. Well, I do have fire immunity, so I don't have to care. All right, so if I go all the way up here, I could have flown, of course. I could have flown. Okay. Okay, no netherite this time around, but still pretty good loot. We still do need the diamonds. Okay, you are annoying. Flight is handy. Ooh, okay. I will need my bow for this. So they can actually spawn up here. That's bad. So I gotta get in here quickly, destroy the spawner, and deal with these guys. There's four of them. Yikes. One, two. Oh dear. This is bad. <laughs> ah, that escape worked perfectly. And there we go. All dead. Go ahead and take all this loot. All right, so sadly no netherite in this one, but we do have another one right this way apparently. Ooh, vent my door. Oh, I can't. I can't even. How do you mine it? Then this is the stuff that we looked at earlier. I don't know how you actually mine this. If you guys know that, please do let me know down below in the comments. I need a. How do I need a better pickaxe? <laughs> what is higher than netherite? Okay, anyway, I am gonna try and fly all the way to the top. Yep, perfect. Look at this. A piglin divinity gem. I'm not sure what that does. And again, no netherite ink it, unfortunately. There we go. And looted. It does appear that we have another one right over here. What on earth are you? 
Zombified Fungus Thrower. Interesting. And we fly again. Another one? Nope, no another one. Magma Cream. I need that for... Well, I don't really need it anymore, but fire resistance potions are always welcome. Alright. Clear. Buying Obsidian. I'm sure that will be useful for something. Who's cutting onions? I was really hoping to get netherite today, though. That would have been very, very cool. But it does not seem like I have found any more of these. That looks like a ship, almost. But yeah, I don't think I found any more of these piglin... Well, except for that one. But that's a bit far away. I apparently have not looted this one. Ow! No netherite. Again. I mean, let's be fair here. I have over a stack of blocks of gold from this, so it's not like the loot here is horrible. That would be that would be sad to say. I'm really going to try the suit of armor here. How well will it bring me to the other side? This armor is going to be our nether armor for sure, because yeah, we can't. Ooh, what's this? Can't really get hurt with this in the nether. I just need some really good enchantments on it. Okay, so this is a mag is a magma cube spawner. We got a smithing table and some. Ge Ooh, ow! Okay, torches do not stop magma cubes from spawning. <laughs> take notes, everyone. Take notes. Oh dear, this is not gonna be good. I want some of the stuff that's in here, though. Okay, I'm gonna break the spawner <laughs> because I think I've seen another one on the map, and I do not need this many. Okay, schematic, throwing knife. Oh, we have Tetra in this mod pack. Ooh, okay. Another backpack, ancient tome. I'm just gonna take everything because it's all valuable. Manuscripts from my Sophia, really good. I'll definitely take the blast furnace, the head, and also the smithy table, of course. Not gonna lie, we're on a roll here. I do think, however, that that is enough nether exploration for one day. I think I'm gonna go over, I'm gonna visit this, and then kinda go in circle right like this, and then go home through the portal. This is so cool. <laughs> Whoa, what are you? And you? Okay, first of all, you guys are annoying. And you are not fun. These guys are cool. I've dealt with your kind plenty of times before. Zombified armor piglin, and he's tall as well. I like these guys. Not someone that I think I want to mess with. Okay, so it appears there's two here. There's one right there, and then there's going to be one right up there. Okay, this is our final chance to get some more netherite. Let's hope for the best here. Here we are. One netherite ingot. Okay, I think. Divinity. Or maybe not. I guess it's something, but... Hmm. Not what I was hoping for. <laughs> I was hoping for a normal netherite ingot. Actually, not that tough. Here we go. Another red ingot. Finally, a normal netherite ingot. Sweet. I would say this journey has definitely been worth it. Ooh, netherite scrap. Okay, I like this. But that was the only piece that we got. <laughs> you know what? I don't even want that backpack. All right, most definitely worth it. Another netherite scrap. I just found this one that we found when we were transporting the spawner from that other fortress to where we have our spawner now. I didn't actually go into it, and apparently there was another ice scrap waiting for me. So that is very cool. All right, back home. I would say mission successful. We did unfortunately get this divinity netherite ingot, which is not really what I wanted, but at least we have those two. And we have this awesome new blazed armor. So now all I gotta do is empty my inventory and get things organized. Okay, inventory sorted, and we now have 27 diamonds in total. I think we found more diamonds on that trip than we did down in the mines, but our resources are starting to look really healthy. But guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. In the next episode, I would love to make a new set of diamond armor and maybe get it to the other right. Maybe get some of this stuff here, I'm not sure which, but maybe make some of that netherite armor and get something like that set up and also an enchanting area. I think we really need that, so that's on the table, among whatever else my brain can brew up. So, really hope you have enjoyed this episode, if you did be sure to leave a like and if you do, do consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you want to support me even further, you can do so over on patreon.com slash binaryvigilante. Helps me out a ton. 
and shout out to the people supporting me over there. But anyways, hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.